Checking out the Yeti Cup up here in the UP Upper Peninsula of Michigan with a fantastic team here, the Robotic Strong Arms Team 14139. We talk about this really cool robot we have down here, and I have Kaylin, Anna, Aspen, and Patrick. And this robot here drives really well, has an interesting intake mechanism. We're going to learn a bit more about this on Behind the Bot. So uh, I want to start out with you, Aspen, here. You're going to be talking about some of the, that big arm that you guys have here. Tell me about the arm. How did you come up with wanting to use something like that? Um, so we decided to make the arm because it's easier to expand out so that the robot can grab the um, blocks. So as you look at expanded blocks, how did you think about when you're looking at maybe different things for arms, why did you choose that in particular? So that it can move back and forth because it just makes it easier for the robot to pick up the blocks and the chain. We decided to use the chain because it takes less time for it to move in and out. And as we're seeing the intake and the wrist starts to work here, what do you want to tell us a little bit about? Um, what we have on our wrist is, Patrick, you want to throw it up? What we have on our wrist is two brackets, and then we have a, hin a door hinge on the back, and on the other side of that, we have a spring, which when we move our arm just enough, it opens and closes. And moving up here, I, I do want to check on this intake. This is definitely uh, very effective for you guys, so tell me a bit more about how your intake works. On the arm, it has like a chain system, and the outer spra bra brackets are stationary, and then the middle one rotates so that the bottom one, it's all attached to one, and then the bottom one just sta is a stationary and the other one moves. So what made you think about wanting to do the kind of the sprocket and chain system that you have, or maybe versus some other robots you've seen? We did it because it seemed easier and didn't seem like it would take much time to build. All right, and I'm going to wrap up here, and actually I'm going to grab Patrick for this last thing. As you guys look at some of the other robots on the field, what are some other really cool designs you've seen? And maybe something you're like, hey, this is something maybe I want to try in the future on a robot. Um, some of them have like a wheel intake, like for say that one over there, where it kind of gets close to the, the block, and it kind of starts spinning the motors so that the wheels intake the, the block. And then once they get to where they want to, they can either lift it up or they can like spit it out onto the foundation. Well, super cool robotic straw arms looking really great here at this competition. Can't wait to see more of what this robot does both here and throughout the rest of the competition season. Good luck to your robot and good luck to your team the rest of the season. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.